Hey everybody and welcome to the Rimrite channel. Today we are talking about issues while powder coating and in this specific video we're going to talk about the issues of back ionization. When we powder coated that blue vintage chair um, we had a couple issues with back ionization on one of the panels and we decided to go ahead and send it through the oven and bring it back out so that we could show you guys what it looks like when it's cooked into the product and how we fix it once it's already in there. Um, so stay tuned and we'll get started right now. All right, let's get right to it. So this is the back of the vintage chair that we're restoring. And when we put on the top coat, we noticed that there were some starbursts in the powder. And what that means is you're having grounding issues and the charge is building up in certain areas and popping up through the powder. So it's very hard to see. Um, I know you saw it on the thumbnail, but there's little dots and they're, they're just little circles. and when you do certain powders, it's really, really hard to um, have them go away in the bake cycle. So they don't flow out, they don't cure. So what we're going to do is show you our process in getting these defects out and then recoating this panel without stripping it and starting over. So our first step is we need to get some sandpaper and start working on the panel. All right, so in this shot, it's very easy to see where we had the back ionization. This is a little round circles, um, and that's basically the charge coming up and ruining your powder. So it was just kind of on this half of the, um, the item, the part. And so we're going to work on those areas first. We've got some 180 grit sandpaper that we're going to be using. Um, and you can get the big square sheets. These are just what we have because we do wheel repair, so we have a lot of these for our 3-inch DA. Um, but what I like to do, because you need to put, first you got to get those spots all leveled out. So that's what we're going to work on now. And then um, you have to have a little bit of grip, mechanical grip for the next layer of powder. So what we like to do is scuff up the rest of the panel. And you can do that with um, the sandpaper. You could do it with like a gray scotch bright or a red. Um, the one thing you want to make sure is that you don't put too deep of a scratch into this that your powder is not going to set into it and flow out. Um, we, we found that 180 works pretty good. You're, if you go to an 80 grit, you might see the scratches through it. And again, it's going to depend on the color of powder. But we'll scuff up this whole side and then we'll flip it over and do the back just to rough it all up. We will, then you'll see us clean it, degrease it, warm it up a little bit, which will then get rid of that charge again. And then... Um, apply the powder over it again so let's get started all right the other thing I want to mention it's always good to have like a hard plastic backing pad or something to kind of keep your sanding smooth so that you're not digging down into it with the pressure on your fingers Here you can really start to see all those spots and your goal here is to get them all level and smooth. All right, so that's starting to look really good. We'll go ahead and get the rest of this sanded out. As you can see, I was doing a crosshatch pattern, just trying to keep everything nice and level. Um, you're going to have some spots like this. Um, those are actually low spots in the metal from dings and dents. And we, because this is just going to my house and we're just going to use it as kind of a decorative piece out front and no one's going to really inspect it or care what it looks like that much, I didn't want to spend the time straightening all the metal perfectly so we just let it be but we'll get the rest of the sanding knocked out and then we'll pick back up um, with the cleanup process all right so we just got the panel all done we've got it all scuffed sanded and ready to go so now we're going to blow it off real quick with air we're going to wipe it down with a degreaser uh, kind of a prep all type of solution and then blow it off one more time we're going to put it in the oven for just a little bit, warm it up, get rid of any static electricity that's on it, and then we're going to bring it out and recoat it.
All right, so we just got done um, wiping this down with a degreaser, uh, prep all, and then we're going to put it in the oven now, let it warm up. While we do that, we're going to clean out the powder and uh, switch over back to the blue and get it coated. All right, so there's the final product. It looks pretty good other than that big dent in it that I didn't take out. Um, no more back ionization anywhere. And it's actually got a better finish than it had. I mean, granted it's dented, but it's a little smoother than it was before because we were able to sand out all the, or a lot of the imperfections. So there you go. That's how you fix back ionization and recode it without having to strip all the way. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. We're going to give this thing a, a try and see how she fits. Oh yeah, that's nice. Way more stable than it was before.